Hi, my name is Gore, and today I would like to show you how to make reflection holograms, and particularly single beam reflection. As opposed to multi beam holography, single beam uses a single a reference beam, and the object beam is the box scattered light from the object of interest. Um, the setup is simple, is the, the laser and then the beam is expanded onto the object through the holographic plate. So, um, this here is our object of interest. Uh, it's a white brush and the plate will go right in front of it, just like that. So, because just like in a previous uh, video, we were using um, Dichromate gelatin, we are going to be using the same today, so everything will be done in a red light, in the dark, as previously shown. The setup here is the same as in a previous movie, which consists of the 532 nanometer laser, the first 100% mirror, the variable beam splitter, The special filter that in a previous movie was the uh, special filter for the object beam. The second mirror to steer the beam. The uh, holographic plate. And the object of the hologram. The beam is initially reflected by the first mirror and into the variable beam splitter. In this case, the beam splitter is set such that it, it uh, diverts 100% of the beam through the special filter, after which the beam is expanded onto the plate, and the reflected light from the object becomes the object beam. So, here, I'm going to be placing the plate in a plate holder, like I previously showed, and I'm going to walk out and begin the exposure. So, now that the exposure is done, we will collect the plate and put it in the dark um, bag and take it for development. The development went well and this is what we've got. So, I'm going to place the plate back where it was. So now let's take it for a closer look. First of all, here is the original brush. And here is the hologram thereof. Now, because this is a single beam reflection, it can be easily viewed in the white light. Meaning, it doesn't have to be the laser as its light source to be viewed. For practical purposes, it can be viewed outside in the sun. And that's how a single beam reflection hologram is made. Thank you very much. So, again, if you have any questions, comments, please feel free to post, contact me and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you may have. Thank you very much for watching and please tune back for um, more videos and more tutorials. Thank you.